Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a lovely day. Um, today's video I'm looking a little bit different. I actually have fake tan on and I think it's my first time having tan on on this channel. Um, it's something that I've actually kind of started to love doing. I think makeup with tan on, tan, tan on? <laughs> with tan on just looks so much better and different. So I think I'll probably be wearing tan a lot more. I really like it. Except my hands and my face are different colours. Anywho's, uh, I'm not here to talk about tan today. For today's video I'm here to talk about how the leading cert went and I yeah and I just want to say hi to the new subscribers that I've gained from my leaving cert videos. Hi, how are you? I hope you're doing well and um, if you haven't subscribed yet please do subscribe because I have loads and loads of videos planned um, this summer. Um, I can't believe like I'm actually saying this summer because the leaving cert's over and like when I was like you know I'm making, I was, I'm making a list of well, I can't talk. I was making a list of videos that I wanted to put up for summer and I was like, wow, it's actually summer. I'm actually finished the Leaving Cert and there's life behind the Leaving Cert. You know, it's crazy because it's been a whole year of kind of just, um, also just ignore that situation. <laughs> it's been a whole year of kind of just thinking about the Leaving Cert and even in fifth year, I was just thinking about the Leaving Cert and summer, just thinking about the Leaving Cert. So it is... I'm just very happy that I'm finished it and I'm on the other side of it and I'm just waiting to get my results now. Um, but yeah, what I mean is just stay tuned, there's going to be some exciting videos. Um, yeah, so, the leaving cert. It was tough, I'm not going to lie, it was tough. Um, I think it's the postman. Okay, give me a minute. <laughs> yeah, it was the postman. Anyway, um, like I was saying, the leaving cert has been tough and it's been a lot tougher than I thought it was would be. Well, actually, it hasn't, it hasn't been. It has in the sense that I was just so nervous and some of the exams were definitely harder. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to start talking about like the exams in order. So the first exam that I had was English Paper 1 and I liked English Paper 1. I think it went my way. I hope it went my way. Um, it was quite a nice paper except I didn't really like the comprehension um, part B's, you know, where you have to write like a, a functional writing. They were kind of dodgy, you know, they were a bit weird, like they weren't your standard normal ones. They were definitely a bit more weird. The comprehensions were nice. Um, I did the first comprehension. It was about oh god, what was that out again? That's really bad that I can't remember. <laughs> anyway, I did the first comprehension as in like for comprehending. Sorry. And um, and then for the second one, the part B, I did the one about the space about leaving Earth and going to space, which is basically about glo about global warming. And then for the uh, composing part, I did the speech about um, why our generation is self-obsessed and all that. And I actually quite liked the paper in that sense. Um, after English, paper one, did I have maths? No, I had home ec, sorry. Um, the home ec paper was dodgy. Um, for first, we didn't finish the course, so it was definitely a bit, it was de be, uh, it was definitely difficult. Um, it wasn't your standard home ec paper either, it, it was very businessy and it was, it, like there was one question on food, like, and the first question which was about lipids I think and I didn't know the answer. Um, but, you know, it was hard in that sense and I just hope, I hope I did okay, like I'm actually, I was aiming for a H3 I definitely did not get a H3, so I'm hoping I got a H4. Yeah, let's just, one can hope, right? Um, English Paper 2 did not go my way my way at all. I actually, for those of you who don't know, I actually have um, anxiety and I get panic attacks and stuff. I got a panic attack through the whole paper. And my, I was shaking so much because I don't know what happened to me. Like, I, for my mocks, I was fine. And I got a 60%, which is a H4. And... I did fine. I, you know, I um, had time and I finished the whole paper because I'm a quick writer. But for some reason, for English paper too, my my anxiety that day was just not, it just wasn't good. And I kept overthinking it and, you know, it was just not nice. And the Macbeth question was probably my best question, I think. And then after that, the comparative did not go my way at all. But I've always struggled with the comparative, especially like the general vision and viewpoint. I have I have to think about it for a while. And obviously in an exam, you don't have the time to think about it. So I didn't get to think about it. And then for poetry, before even um, 
before, uh, before, what am I trying to say, before we even did poetry or like before it even started, my favourite poet was Sylvia Plath. We did her in TY a little bit. We did the arrival of the bee box. Absolutely adored Sylvia Plath, but because everybody else was doing her, I decided not to do her, which was a big, big, big mistake. I also love Yeats's poetry. Um, so I did the question on Yeats, but it did not go my way at all because when you have a panic attack it's really hard to remember things like especially during the exam exams I was trying to remember quotes and I was getting so confused so it was really really bad to be honest I was really really upset about it and um, like really upset about it the unseen poem I think was actually quite nice um again it was very rushed because I had only like about 40 50 minutes left to do the let's say the unseen poem and then um then Yates, which I should have done Plath, but anyway, so I, I did, I was definitely very, very upset after that, like, I was devastated, um, I came out crying and it just wasn't really nice, and I'm just hoping I got a H5 in English, like, I would have loved to have gotten a H4 or a H3, but I definitely, definitely did not get a H4 or a H3, which is really sad, to be honest, and so the next exam was the Friday, and I had maths, now, as, sorry, I'm just trying to screenshot this so I won't forget. As I've said before, I do foundation maths and um, I'll have a maths and in order to get my course, to get an F2 and I don't think I got an F2 to be honest, which, yeah, I'm really bad at maths. Like an F2 is 80% and that's pretty much all of the paper writing. I don't think, I don't think I got it, but sure, we'll see. But yeah, it was, wasn't easy, but it wasn't hard at the same time. I, I don't know. Um... The next exam I had was Irish Paper 1. I do ordinary level Irish. Um, I I liked Irish Paper 1 actually. I think I did okay in it, I hope. Um, uh, the listening was... The listening was grand. Um, I just... The accents were hard. Um, and then the composing... I think it was fine like I did the I did the letter and I did the story oh my god I did the letter and the story and they were fine I think then after Irish paper one I had Irish paper two on Tuesday um Irish paper two was fine as well um I think I hope um I found the poetry part of it to be quite hard so I don't know how I did on that but I actually quite liked it and I hope I did okay so basically for Irish I was aiming to get an O2 an O2 or an O1, but I feel like an O1 is too high, so I'm hoping to get an O2. I got uh, an O3 in the mocks, but that wasn't including my oral, because we didn't really do a practice oral. And I'm hoping that it did okay, and I my oral for Irish was okay, I think. Um, then I had biology, and I dropped down to ordinary level biology, because I've always struggled with biology. It's something that I've studied a lot. Um, like I worked so hard at it but it just I could never retain the information like in my mocks I did two mocks in my first mock I got 34% and my second mock I got 33% and I was just so scared about it I really didn't want it to go bad my paper was fine I think um aiming to be getting an O2 I don't think I got an O2 um so I'm gonna say an O3 but I don't you know I wasn't really counting biology anyway so there's that. The next exam then I had was French and History. Now I do ordinary level French as well. Um, so I I liked the French paper. I think it was okay. The only problem for me was that the um, uh, comprehensions were a bit dodgy. And I subject which was history and history is that one subject that I've worked so hard in so I was really really nervous about that so during the French exam all I was thinking about was history like what if it doesn't go my way and I, I wasn't in the right headspace and I was so anxious again I had panic attacks that day as well which was really frustrating to be honest um then I had history I have never been more nervous about anything in my life than I was about history I was just afraid that it wasn't going to go my way and I was just absolutely terrified. Um, to be honest, before one of my friends asked me what I'd like to come on, what would I like, what would I like to have come up in the history paper and for the document I said the fisheries, I really 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 don't like the economic plans for expansion, I just don't like it. Um, and they came up which I was a bit annoyed about but it was fine, like I knew enough but again I wasn't really focusing on the document questions which was kind of bad. 
Then I said for Irish, uh, we did sovereignty and partition. I said I'd love the Anglo-Irish um, relations to come up. They did, delighted. Then um, for dictatorship and democracy, I said I'd love if fascist regimes came up. They did. And then for USA, I said I'd love if race relations came up. And it did. So I was really, really happy. Like all three that I wanted came up. However, I didn't really answer them that well. I found, I found that my essay structuring was really bad and my information was kind of hit and miss. Like, and I couldn't really remember everything, which was really frustrating. But the paper did go the best that I think it could have gone to be fair and um, for history I'd be, I was aiming to get like a H3 and I honestly don't know like I got a H4 in the mocks like I got 69% um, but that wasn't including the project or anything so I love to get a H3 but I just feel like my essays are so shite um, sure look we'll see what happens and yeah you know the leaving starts over now and I feel like it was a really difficult year when I look back on it it really really was because I wasn't I just felt like every little thing that I was doing I was like I should be studying I should be studying and I felt bad and the thing that's pissed is pissed me off a bit is like I studied so much like I was literally in Saturday and Sunday study whenever they were on I was in study whenever it was on basically studying I was studying at home and I just feel like all of that study I put in hasn't really paid off or I feel like it hasn't I feel like I put in so much work and it just it won't show off it won't like not show off but it won't show on the day and I'm really really nervous about the results day to be honest I think it's literally today's the 14th it's literally two months um so that's just scary but it's two months yesterday um I'm scared but look I did my best and I feel like I actually did do my best as well um I studied as hard as I could have I was studying whenever I could and I just feel like like if you compare it to the junior cert I know the junior cert is completely different I didn't do much for the junior cert at all but for the leaving cert I put my heart and soul into it and if it all goes wrong and if I don't get my course I can always do a PLC course which I actually got accepted for as well, which I'm delighted about. Um, and there's nothing wrong with doing a PLC course either. You know, there is different ways into education and there's not just one way that's lined out for everybody. There's so many different things. And even then college and that isn't for everybody. But yeah, I just wanted to catch you up on the Leaving Search just when I was making videos about it, just how I thought about it. And um, the points that I would love to get, like I have it over there. Actually, I'll go get the sheet and I'll show you. I'll be back in a second. <laughs> Okay, so these were the points that I um, wanted to get. So I made these after my mocks, I think. So basically for English, I said a H3, not a hope, after the way English paper 2 went. Home back, H3, don't think so. History, H3, would love, but I don't think so. I said an O2 for Irish. I said an O1 for French. I doubt I got an O1 French. No. <laughs> and LCVP, oh I actually haven't spoke about LCVP, I did film a clip from LCVP that I'll put in now and um, yeah I said I'd get a 46 instead of a distinction so I said I'd get a merit I don't think I'll get a distinction, I had distinction like here but I actually don't think that I'll get that so I changed it to 46 so if I got all of that I would be getting 379 points I don't think so Um, but look it is what it is at the end of the day and I did the best that I could and I feel like the Leaving Cert, like, I, it's so unfair because like, for for example, for English, I just had a panic attack, my mental health wasn't great and it's like, you even ask like, my teacher, like, I've put in so much work into English and I don't mean to be like, sucking my own dick or anything, I have put in so much work into English and I, it's my favourite subject, like, and it just did not go my way at all, I was devastated, um, but your look, that's it and that's all I wanted to say I just wanted to film this video just to kind of catch you up on it and see what you thought of it let me know what you guys thought of it and what was your favorite subjects and what did you do well in or what don't you think you did well in were you happy with the papers and all of that I'd love to talk about it but I just want to say um I've said this before but I don't want anybody like I will be deleting comments if anybody says like oh my god you did foundation maths or you did ordinary level this you did ordinary level that like you don't know anything about me um you don't know about my life or how hard I found school so I don't want any of those comments because it's not fair like when you don't know me and I don't think it's fair to say to, to say to somebody to comment those sort of, sort of things like everyone has different abilities and I don't think it's fair actually this guy tweeted something so I was on twitter um and this guy was tweeting 
something about simultaneous equation in the ordinary level paper and he was basically saying that how some people didn't know how to do it and kind of laughing at them saying that oh like third years would know how to do that and all that and it's like how dare you like do you know what I mean like everyone has different abilities I don't think I'll be able to do a simultaneous equation I haven't done that literally in a long time like and I just think that was a horrible thing to do um it's like everyone has different abilities you know we're all talented in different ways that's just my little rant on the leave insert. I probably am going to do an overall talk about the leave insert maybe after I get my results just um, for some advice for fifth years or sixth years now technically um, and all of that but there will be more non-school videos which some of you might be happy to know because all of my YouTube has basically been leave insert, leave insert, leave insert and I haven't been posting that much but that will change. But thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you have a great day and I'll talk to you guys very soon. Bye.